what is going on guys welcome back to the channel so very recently i retrofitted cruise control to this car to my audi a4 but i don't want to stop there so today i want to retrofit multifunctional steering wheel stay tuned as you can see my car has no buttons on the steering wheel but this can be fixed you can either change the complete steering wheel with the one which has uh, multifunctional steering wheels or buttons or controls i don't want to change the steering wheel um, it's not that i like it so much it's very worn out but yeah I, it there's it makes no sense to change it. also this is a three spoke steering wheel so i will not change it but i bought a donor steering wheel from which uh, i took these ones the buttons these were on a four spoke steering wheel but i hope they work so yeah let's start with this we have to remove the airbag and install this and change the airbag wiring because the old airbag wiring doesn't have the support for the multifunctional steering wheel so it doesn't have this connector so we will exchange this connect this wiring also if you work with airbags you must disconnect the battery so ignition on and battery disconnected in order to take the airbag out or the steering wheel we need to remove two screws to loosen the or to release the airbag one is behind this cap here it's a t30 i guess if i remember well so let's do it One. you don't need to remove them completely they should just be loosened all the way and they will stay in so now the airbag should be released and it is to remove the airbag we need to disconnect this yellow connector that's it it's out let's see if the wiring harness that I got is working with this one so the airbag connector seems to be the same we have two small connectors for the airbag yeah I guess this this will work let's exchange it so part of this is already removed I just want to make you aware that for these small connectors there is some clip release that you have to push in order to take them easily also for these ones you have to lift this yellow cap up yeah let's replace it now i will start also with the green one just like that in now lock it next let's stop the wires here then this connector also has a spring release. See it here? That you need to press when you remove it, but now it will lock in place very easily. Okay, so the new wiring harness is installed. Let's move to the steering wheel. 
here we have to get rid of these two caps but in order to do that we need to take this black frame off and then the caps should just slide and they do these are the codes of the buttons So in case you want to find these, these are the ones for the uh, almost square airbag. If you have the newer steering wheel, steering wheel or an A31 or R81, I guess these codes will not work because the shape of the buttons is not round enough. You will see after I install the, the steering wheel because they will somehow follow the same line. So let's install those. So nice now. I will tuck the wire afterwards. It's clipped in place. And also this one will go here after I install the airbag. So we need now to connect the buttons. Okay. Buttons are now connected. Let me tuck the wire in here. If I can do so. Everything is staying really nice. Connections are all done. Now I will connect the airbag or the main harness connector and then the airbag, what I cannot do it with one hand. Done. Not yet tightened, but hmm, looking very nice. Let's put the screws or let's tighten the screws. should be better okay everything is now tight properly let's connect the battery again and see if we have horn and also to uh, program or to code the multifunctional steering wheel works yeah let's let's code it because i don't think it will work now Okay, so now that everything is installed, we have to code the steering wheel. We have to do it in the steering column module and also in the radio module. So I am using VCDS. You are familiar with me using this. So I will select the control module. Go to steering wheel. Coding, long holding helper. Byte 2. And here, multifunction steering wheel installed. We have no tiptronic, that's uh, the paddle shifter from the automatic grid boxes. And exit. Do it. Everything is fine with this code. And now let's connect also to the radio. Where is radio? 56. Coding, long coding helper, byte 6, multifunction, steering wheel installed. Exit, do it, yes, coding accepted, close controller, now 
I should be able to use this. Let's start the radio. It works. Also, we have lights. The radio changing works. That's a success. That's it guys, this is how you can retrofit a multifunctional steering wheel or if you don't want to change the wheel, just the buttons itself, very easy to do. Mm, also the parts were not so expensive, but of course this is, uh, depends on the country you are in, but I uh, bought them used, so everything should be not so expensive for you. Good, thank you so much for watching also this video, I have a bunch of other videos where I do a lot of stuff to my car, so if you are new to this channel I invite you to subscribe and watch also my other content. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye.